Representative Novotny, thanks for joining us. Thanks, sir. So first off, congratulations on joining the House of Representatives. Um, can you give us a quick overview of District 30A and what made you decide to run for the seat? 30A is Elk River, city, the city of Elk River. Big Lake City, Big Lake Township, most of Big Lake Township, and a small slice of Otsego. Why did I run uh, as Representative Zerwas was you know, announcing his stepping down. Uh, my career as a law enforcement officer was coming to uh, its retirement and it just seemed like uh, a natural fit and that I could continue on the service that Nick had done uh, representing the district. I saw on your campaign's Facebook page someone described you as a solid conservative socially and fiscally. fiscally. Is that about right? or? Yeah, very right. Okay. What issues matter most to you? The basis of everything has always, always got to be life, um, support life from conception to natural death. Without that, you know, what else is there? Um, transportation is a big issue for our district. Uh, we've got the Highway 169 reconstruction coming up that will be uh, very impactful to our community, uh, not only during the, the construction, but when it's done. And uh, that'll be a big influence on business and things like that. And what, when you talk to constituents as you, you were running here, what did they want to see uh, accomplished in 2020? Well, they, they want us to hold the line on the Second Amendment issues. That's probably, it, between the, the pro-life and the Second Amendment is the one thing that I heard knocking on doors. And so you're a 30-year veteran of the Sherburne County Sheriff's Office. Yes. What kind of perspective does that give you in your new position here at the House? I, I, it's from this perspective of so many laws come down and I don't think there's a lot of thought as to what will happen, you know, as a result of those laws. You know, what's the, what's the process after that, you know, and how does it really affect people and afterwards, and how is it implemented, and will it really work? And yeah, it's just, I don't think a lot of times that the criminal stuff is thought through. And you've worn a lot of hats in your life. Youth sports coach, firearm instructor, my sources say a private pilot yes, as well. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit more about your background and how has it prepared you for your uh, next phase here as a state representative? Well, I, I grew up in Elk River, grew up on a farm, um, dairy farm, uh, pigs. Um, really gave me an appreciation for hard work and, and realizing how much hard work will pay off. It kept our family together, uh, working together, and uh, you know our family's all still intact in in the Elk River area. Um, yeah, the the flying part. Uh, my dad was a private pilot and worked for United Airlines before he was hurt in a car crash. Um, so he really uh, instilled that love of flying in me. He went on to be a veteran service officer for Sherman County for um, quite a few years. And really that, that sense of service that he installed, um, helping veterans and yeah, really reached out. Do you have a, your own plane? I do. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, a, it's a Cessna 172 that's older than I am. So <laughs> it's a good value. Well, finally, I just have to ask, you're taking over for former representative Nick Sirwas, well known for that candy desk. Are, are you gonna follow in his footsteps there or, or what, what can we expect in, in the way of candy in the desk? Is that gonna happen? Well, there, there might be some candy, there might be some <laughs> kale chips, um, and uh, I'm, I'm waiting for my Amazon's shipment of Japanese seaweed. <laughs> it's a little so, bit of a, a no, different no. mix. I've got some uh, Welch's fruit, fruit snacks because that's my favorite. Representative Novotny, thanks for joining us. Thank you.